Right, telling stories. I mean, I, I, there's the first thing that interests me, and because I started way back in college making animations, um, and then abandoned that as a as a means of uh, proceeding. I got interested in the idea that the single frame of a, a one drawing could encompass within that single frame it could imply a past a future and that although it was a, uh, just this one drawing there was a there was a sort of narrative implied and the whole idea of narrative in drawing it, it, it fascinates me because it's not just it's not just in cartooning it's in life drawing as well because you draw a figure and as you draw the figure time passes the figure settles and slumps and changes and constantly you're you're trying to record that as as part of a narrative and uh, that is what interests me most ab about cartooning as well that there's there's this past and this future as well and movement perhaps physical movement possibly as well um but it's all within the single frame and um i think also panic panic's an important factor uh, you've got you've got to be um stimulated if that's the right word uh you've got to feel like you've been you've backed yourself into a corner and you've got to you've got to chase you've got to go into those corners and dig out all the all the sort of possible approaches and and so you it's it's like going through an attic and opening all these boxes frantically um throwing stuff all over the place and you you get uh, as time goes by as you become more experienced you get better at recognizing the crap but you've still got to create you've still got to get it out of the way so there's more and more rubbish piling up around you as you're hunting for the right image and when you get the right image damn you really do you know it for what it is because it it it, it jumps out at you and I, I think you have to you really have to trust your instinct in these matters um because i was earlier we were talking about um images and about uh, i've got this preoccupation about skinny jeans and i wanted to draw someone punishing punishing the skinny jean and suddenly it came to me that it was it was a, a scene out in the garden, a back-to-back -back house somewhere in the north of England, old school. And there's a, a, a stout lady in a in a uh, she's she's got a headscarf on and everything, and she's wielding an old school carpet beater. And she's got these skinny jeans out on the on the line, and she's beating the crap out of them. And, and the the thing is. I knew immediately before I'd even gone so far as to draw it. I, I knew it would work. That's the, that's another thing. The process over time. I mean, I've been doing this for Christ, um, bloody hell, nearly forty years. Um, you get better at, at, at avoiding the blind alleys, or at least you think you do. But you've still got to you've still got to go through a lot of things before you find the one that really really says it for you.